in this particular market, it looks like education is still very much needed. Um, so to start growing the business and kind of going on to my last point, you know, doing things from an educational uh, perspective is, is going to work. So you want to educate businesses on what are the benefits of managed services? You know, how is it going to help or improve your prospects organization? So, you know, we're looking at the business benefits of managed services, uptime, stability, performance improvements, reliability, uh, reduced downtime, right? Decreased interruptions for your employees, protecting them while they're online from, from a security breach, protecting their data. You know, those are all of the major benefits of proactively taking care of, of your prospects' computers, you know, so that those employees can continue working, they continue being productive because you are watching and maintain their computers, you know, in the background from afar. But it, that term has been around for so many years. Like I, I've been in the industry since 2004 and I never liked the term back then. So, you know, I would, I actually recommend to, to partners to stop using the managed services term. And, and, you know, the, the, the day and times of, of today is cybersecurity, risk mitigation. Those are approaches that seem to resonate with, with, with businesses instead. So instead of building and trying to sell a managed services program, and you can't get anybody to buy into it and they just rather stay break fix, maybe think about rebranding it. You know, focus on selling a cybersecurity package and enroll your customers in that and then charge them a monthly fee for that security package. We found that it's likely easier to move those customers, those break fix customers, when you say that, you know, you kind of have a uh, this package, this suite of services, this bundle um, to protect them from ransomware, to protect them from being breached. And then the proactive network and the computer management, like your patching and, and, and uh, maintenance items, that's just all part of how you're going to implement it. The managed services just really rides the coattails of that security program. And then what you can do is you can still do maybe break fix or maybe even sell them block hours for a lot of the reactive stuff, right? You know, maybe any help desk calls that come in, you know, things that break that, you know, you weren't expecting. So you're getting recurring revenue and getting them used to paying a monthly fee for the security aspect, but then there's still break fix, you know, time material for all of that reactive help desk um, stuff. And then, you know, that's going to work to create stickiness, you know, for your customers um, as, as well and kind of get used to, you know, kind of the, the new model. Like trying to get someone to go from break fix all the way into fixed fee, that's, that's going to be an impossible leap for them. But if we can kind of start and say, you know, building on the news that that's in that, you know, gosh, it's everywhere around ransomware, protecting yourself, protecting the data, and then selling a suite of services or a bundle based on that might be a, an easier approach.